In this video, I'll show you how to create a really neat sticky navigation bar for your Home Assistant dashboard. On mobile, I find it hard to use the default top navigation, but moving the navigation to the bottom and making it sticky makes it a lot more user-friendly. You will need to install Card Mod from Hacks. I also use Mushroom Cards, but you could use other button-like cards if you want to. Start by setting up your menu items. I use Mushroom Chips Card, so I add a menu button, a spacer, then I create three template chips and add icons to them. In this example, I create a Home button, as well as a Vacuum and Settings button. Next, I use Card Mod to colorize the Active button. Then we need to set up some subpages that my buttons will lead to. I just set up a subpage for each button. Take note of the URL. We will use that in the next step. I also just add a temporary title card on each page. Now we need to configure the tap action settings so our buttons actually do something. This is where we link to our subpages. Action should be navigate, and navigation path should be our URL. Your URL might be a bit different to mine. Copy paste this code to each button and edit the URL. Now we need to duplicate this whole card onto the other subpages. Just remember to move the card mod styling that colorizes the button. Test it to make sure that the buttons are working correctly. Now let's fix what this tutorial is really about. We will use card mod again. I start by just removing the gray background from the chips. Then we need to edit the colon host styling. Set the Z index to 2. Position should be fixed, then set bottom to 0. When we have position fixed, this will move the navigation bar to the bottom of our browser window. The rest of this code is just to style it the way I want it. I make the background a solid white color. I give it some more space around the edges with padding. I set margin to zero. Then I make sure the navigation is centered with the left and transform tags. Then I set it to cover the whole width with the width tag. I'm not really sure where the 34px comes from, but I had to add that to position it correctly. Lastly, I just add a subtle shadow. Then we just need to copy paste this card mod code to the navigation on the other subpages. It could happen that our navigation bar now actually covers the save button on our editor, but you could just use Ctrl plus S to save your changes, or ESC to discard your changes. Test the navigation and make sure that it is working. You could also test the mobile view by using the inspect window in Chrome. Click the toggle device toolbar button in the top left of the window. It doesn't really make much sense having a bottom navigation bar if we can't remove Home Assistant's default top navigation bar. To remove it, we need to install another custom add-on from Hacks called Kiosk Mode. I'll link a much more in-depth tutorial about this in the description, but this is the basics. After installing the add-on, go to Settings, Devices and Services, Helpers and create a new toggle helper. Name it Kiosk Mode or something like that. Go back to your dashboard, select Edit Dashboard, then Raw Configuration Editor. Use this code, just make sure that you use the correct name for the helper we created. You can test that it's working by flicking the toggle helper on and off. It's annoying to have to look for the helper each time we want to edit our dashboard, so let's instead add a button to our navigation that can do this. Duplicate one of the chips, but add our helper as an entity to the chip. Then in the tap action, we can set it to toggle. Test that it's working. Now we can again use card mod to color this button based on the state of our helper. This gets a little finicky with the templating language, but you can copy paste the code from my website. You can also change the icon based on the state. Then we just need to copy paste this last button to the other subpages, and our new navigation bar is complete. In my opinion, this makes navigating dashboards with multiple subpages a lot better on mobile. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.